Good morning. So we never made a video of us making our cosplays from Comic Con 2021. We were Bean Ren from the show Rebels and Fen Rao. Um, not a lot of people know who he is, but we figured we've always wanted to do a photo shoot with our costumes, and today's the day. And so it's about almost 10 o'clock. We got our costume stuff out from storage, and here we go. We're gonna start our day. And it's gonna be fun. We found this great place. Um, it's kind of like a dune area, and it's. I, we think it's gonna look great. It's gonna look like Mandalore or whatever. It's gonna be awesome. So here we go. Um. Yeah, that'd be perfect. No! Usually when I have the costume I wear what's called a baklava, which is like a almost like a ski mask. It's a very thin material that like covers all around your face and your hair and everything. Um, so I don't need to do my hair. Um, but depending on the character, usually I would, right? Even if I'm wearing a helmet, if I ever take the helmet off, I want to look like the character. I don't have any contacts, so I probably won't be doing any headshots today. I'll probably just be doing the mask. Um, so no need for a hair. Let's go get dressed. So getting dressed was actually a really fun part of the job. Um, I start with the base black layer, just because most characters in Star Wars, if they have armor or helmets, they always need that base layer, so you can't see skin um, through any chinks in their armor or anything like that. The vest I have was actually from an old jacket. It was literally one of my favorite jack jackets, and I was wearing it to death, holes were appearing in it, and I was like, I might as well cut it up. Um, you'll notice that I use buttons instead of the zipper because I had to cut the jacket high on my abdomen, um, almost like a high top jacket vest, and I ha only was able to use the buttons because the zipper at that point was already cut off and wouldn't fit properly. Having the straps sewn onto the pants really helped a lot. Putting the straps on is kind of tedious, especially when my knees hit those joints. And so I put the guns on usually pretty early in the process just because it helps keep the form. So if I ever have to move or sit, they help keep the shape of the outfit. All of the armor pieces I have are kept on through Velcro. I hot glued most of the Velcro and sewed some places of it, mostly on the vest. There's a few times where I have to use a sleeve for the, they're called Vanguard braces in the show, but they're more just like arm gauntlets. And so I have to use those sleeves with Velcro on them separately. And I found out that's actually a pretty nice technique because I can keep using those sleeves for different outfits in the future of cosplay as well. The ventilation tubes that I have, I had to custom shape, and that was really hard. I had to use a lighter, and I would just sit there for like 50 seconds trying to carefully heat up the tube without melting it. So I probably went through a few vacuum hoses, but I just cut it into different sections and shaped it the way I wanted it, and everything seemed to turn out just right. All the armor pieces are made of foam. The gloves are just marching gloves that I found on Amazon for really cheap. Um, they're not the highest quality, but you don't really need that if you're just doing a cosplay. And the helmet, of course, is also going to be foam. I love the costume. I think getting dressed is one of my favorite parts just because it shows the excitement, um, the anticipation of me getting ready for Comic-Con. And I just, I think that's one of the best parts is getting dressed. It's hot in this thing. <laughs> 
The thing about pilots in Star Wars is with these like air filtration breathing tube things. I kind of look like a scuba diver, especially with the baklava. Not to confuse with baklava. I wish I had baklava. Um, but you kind of saw that process of how it all went. Um, sometimes it takes longer, especially when things are breaking. Um, depending on how well you do it the first time, will ensure how well it goes the second time. So make sure you definitely do a quality job. Do the best you can the first time so you don't have to fix stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's lots of little finicky things that we just didn't record us building them all the way, and I, I wish we did. This year for Comic-Con 2022, I think I'm gonna go as Captain Rex. And Lillian's debating going as either Ahsoka or someone else she wants to do. She's not really sure at this point. But I think my dream cosplay, if I had a perfect cosplay, it wouldn't be a Mandalorian. It would be Captain Rex. Um, a fan favorite from Star Wars Clone Wars and, spoiler alert, Rebels. Um, he shows up there a little bit. But his costume would be my dream. And I'm gonna do it this year. And if I don't do it, the best way I'll do it again later. I want to nail it. I want to keep doing it until I nail it So all right now that I'm suited up. It's time for Lillian to get dressed, and then we'll be ready to go out to the the dunes Hello We're gonna be doing makeup. Yeah, sweet. All right get to it That sounded kind of bossy. I didn't mean it to be like that My hair's a lot longer than it was when we did this though there we go. It's a little better. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Getting off to a good start. <sighs> Are you going as a bacoblin this year for Comic Con? <laughs> That'd be a fun costume. A fishnet bacoblin. Owie. That would be interesting. Or Link in the bacoblin mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mush it all around. Get inside there, hair. Well, that just goes to show why we put the wig cap on before the makeup. Um, honestly, cosplay makeup is about changing your face to look like someone else's face. Less about making yourself look pretty and more about changing the features of your face. So I started with my eyebrows. Sabine has darker eyebrows than mine. And also just with cosplay makeup, you want to exaggerate it a bit, especially if you're doing photos, because it won't show up on the camera as much. Is this how it goes? This is it, right? Oh my gosh. Sabine Rao. Or is it Fen Ren? I don't know which one. Side note, I think I can pull this off. I can dig this haircut. Ugh. You have to flip your hair like that? Oh my goodness. So much work. Really the biggest transformation is gonna come from the eyeshadow, because what you do with eyeshadow is you create an illusion using shadow. Or in this case, darker colors that look like shadows. And so since Sabine has an eye shape that's very different from mine, I use the eyeshadow to create shadows to make mine look more like hers. She has long, narrow, slightly upturned eyes, and mine are practically the opposite, where they're more rounded. So here I'm taking a dark brown color and just putting it in the corner of my eye and like dragging it out a little bit to make kind of a V shape. And this kind of helps elongate my eye so it's less rounded and more long. Um, you have to have kind of a heavy hand with costume makeup so that it shows up on camera. You'll see me come back and touch it up a few times just because it wasn't dark enough. Obviously I'm not a professional as you can see with me putting the mirror in front of my face like a noob, but here I'm putting on some eyeliner uh, to help elongate my eye and make it look longer and narrower than it actually is. That's really all costume makeup is. It's an illusion. snacks or something to take with us? Thank you. The dark shadow I put on my whole eyelid just helps my eyes look a little, again, less rounded. It helps create more shadow, more depth. And you see I darkened up some of the colors. 
And now I'm just putting my foundation on to make my face look more flawless and cartoon-like because, I mean, no one has skin like a cartoon, so that's what makeup's for. Because foundation kind of erases your natural shadows, I went in with a little bit of a brown eyeshadow to give my nose new shadows. And then I'm just adding some lip color that's similar to hers. I clean up the edges and then I go over it with a little bit of eyeshadow just to make it more natural and less pink. She doesn't really look like she's wearing lipstick. That's it for makeup. I will go over wig and we'll show you the finished costume. <clears throat> Look at the detail she put into the guns. That's just like amazing. Because Sabine ends up having to borrow someone else's gun at one point and ends up becoming hers. I mean like, crazy. She added all these extra layers and edges. Insane. I did mine last minute. Top quality right there. But... This year when I do Rex, oh, I'm gonna be upgrading. I wanna do a little more than this. All right, so here's the base of the costume. It's just an athletic shirt, sweatshirt thing and some pants that I painted. The wig I painted and styled as well. This is what everything else attaches onto. The breastplate, the collarbone pads, I guess? and the shoulder pads all attach to the shirt with Velcro, which is super convenient uh, most of the time. The belts are made of like a faux leather material. There's two of them, one of them has the gun holsters and the other has a series of pockets. The buckles are made from pieces of foam. The guns themselves just slip into the holsters on the side. They're a little bit hard to get in and out, so they didn't make good props, just because it's fabric and so it's flimsy, it didn't really have structure to it. So they mostly just stayed in the holsters. I'm sure Ryan was coaching me on my modeling at this point. And then these are my elbow pads, I guess. Um, they just had they just had a piece of elastic that went around them so I could, as you see, slip them up over my arm and they stayed really well. You dropped one! Nailed it! Sometimes I was a little worried it would cut off my circulation, but hey, I still have my arms and my hands, so we're all good. It was kind of fun wearing all this armor, I've never worn a costume like this before, so I felt pretty cool. Then I had some knee pads, which were similar in design to the elbow pads where they just slipped on with some elastic. Ooh. Protect your knees. Protect them knees. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You wanna buy some glue sticks? You don't have to sell me glue sticks. I don't want to sell you glue sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I'm going to go home and rethink about my life. Actually, if you would find the loose one and just put some hot glue underneath it, I think it's this one here. Left side. I can feel the gap. It's going to be hot. I know. It won't be too bad because this is a thick shirt. Okay. Howie! Hot! hot. Oh. Stop pushing. Good 
<laughs> you don't even have the... I know. Okay, these were probably the most annoying part of the costume, both to make and to wear. They velcroed onto the front of my boots, and they always got in the way when I walked. When we were doing the photo shoot, I had to walk like a penguin. I couldn't bend my knees or they would fall off. And then I just had some fingerless gloves, and I slipped my sweatshirt over that, put my thumb through the thumb hole. And then, as you can see, Ryan trying to figure out how my hand plates go, <laughs> those just Velcro right on to the sweatshirt that's over my gloves. And boom, we look cool. Yeah! Mm -hmm. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are we good to go then? Yeah. Alright, I'll stop it. Bye! Bye! Say cheese. You don't have to look. Oh, me. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed out to our destination for our photo shoot. It's called Little Sahara. It's like sand dunes in southern Utah. So. We're hoping to get some cool Mandalorian-esque photos from it. We'll keep you updated. We made it! Here we are. Let's go. Here we are. It's more sandy and dooney over that rise, but we're gonna suit up here so we can head up that way and take some pahotos. And here is our barren planet Mandalore. Just as I remember. <laughs> All right, got my camera, camera bag, tote carrying our stuff and tripod. Good thing my military training at the Imperial Academy training to be able to carry all my equipment with me at all times. Here we go.